everyone, I'm Janelle Bonterre and I'm in Los Angeles, California, home to some of the biggest stars and best events like the BT Experience, a weekend long music festival that allows audiences to get up close and personal to some of their favorite stars in front and behind the scenes. I wanted to check in with some fierce and fabulous women in the entertainment industry who connect to a deeper side of the business that you don't always hear about. From the activists and CEOs to the writers and performers. Let's check it out. I am here with the phenomenal Deborah Lee, a woman who is behind all of this uh, fabulous event activity that we're seeing for the BT experience. Deborah, thank you so much for taking time out for us. Yeah, I'm glad uh, that you're here and uh, we're having a great time tonight. LA Live is alive with all the BET Experience events. What does it mean to see the brand really grow and progress to this level? Well, we started BET Experience last year. We took over LA Live for the first time, so it's great to be back. It's great to see it get bigger. So much fun to see our audience and our fans and be able to be up close and personal. How difficult is it to pull all of these events together with so much black star power? Well, it's a lot of work, and but I have a great team and people are really passionate about this. Last year we had over 100,000 uh, attendees. This year we think we're going to have more. And, uh, you know, we just love it. So it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. You have really stirred this BET ship forward to progress. How has the experience been taking it to different levels of improvement from the programming standpoint and from events like this? Well, it's great. I mean, you know, when I became CEO eight years ago, one of my uh, commitments was to improve the, the programming quality, uh, bring new originals to BET, and I've delivered on that. Um, so it's great to see the ratings grow, to see people so passionate about our program, and the BET experience is just an extension of that. And then Sunday we have the BET Awards, uh, the best, you know, award show on TV. Uh, so we'll continue to grow that. I know there will be a lot of surprises. we got Chris Rock hosting in this year uh, so you know it's my honor to be a part of this great organization well, it's my honor to be here with you you're a role model to so many of us especially in the Caribbean and the diaspora can you identify one of the greatest challenges you've had in your role over the past few years well the challenge of any television network is to keep the ratings growing because you know they don't care if you had a hit last year they want to know what you're doing this year so you know it's a continuous push to improve the programming every year keep the ratings growing keep our audience happy uh, we're glad to have so many viewers in the Caribbean and uh, we treasure them so thank you for watching keep watching not only BET but Centric our second network and what would you say is one of your greatest successes or one of your greatest achievements thus far well I'm really proud of where we are on a programming level uh, being Mary Jane is just my favorite program my first one hour drama I'm really proud of that I'm really proud of this weekend and and how the BT Awards has grown so you know I'm passionate about what we do and uh, take a lot of pride in what we do Absolutely. Now, before you go you know I have to ask you about your personal style you're looking fabulous I'm loving the hair, the makeup, everything is well put together. Tell us about your personal style. Well, you know, as CEO of a company, I have to be kind of corporate, but I like to be elegant. I like to be fashion forward. I like sometimes to be a little funky. Uh, I love my natural hair. It's been so much fun. Um, and, uh, you know, it just lets me express myself. So You are a star in the boardroom and outside of it. Thank you so much, Thank Deborah you. Lee. All right. Thanks for being here. Coming up on Dialin Exclusive.